Next up, also at a 7.5, is Dracula vs. Van Helsing. This is a very interesting two-player trick-taking-esque game where you are either playing uh, Van Helsing or Dracula, and it's slightly asymmetric in the win conditions. You've got a map of, I, I would assume, uh, London. No. Maybe uh, Transylvania. I don't know. I have no idea where it's set. Uh, anyway, but it's a map that's broken up into, I believe, five different sectors. And each sector has a number of kind of uh, citizens, innocent citizens that are there. And what Dracula's goal is, is to get citizens turned into vampires in every one of these regions. And what Van Helsing is trying to do is prevent that from happening and damaging uh, Dracula. Dracula has a certain number of health points, and so if Van Helsing can destroy all of those health points, Dracula is defeated. If Dracula can turn enough uh, people into vampires in all of those regions, then Dracula will win. And it's played using a, a somewhat of a trick-taking style thing where each region has a card that's going to be kind of, it's actually a tile, that's going to be evaluated from left to right, depending upon who who's facing, uh, who we're talking about. But it lets you do some manipulation of the tiles. There's some interesting things, um, and it's definitely one I recommend, but I, I, I there's something about it that just feels like it's not going to be one again, that I come back to over and over and over again. I feel like once you kind of get the, the, the idea behind it, especially if you're playing with the same person, that you might start falling into some metas that may make it a little bit less satisfying. I think if you're always playing against new people, that would be a more exciting, but still a good game, still one I could recommend, Dracula versus Van Helsing.